The Boondocks is known for many things, but one of the most loved and appreciated aspects of The Boondocks is that the show always has its finger on the pulse of what's happening in the world, whether it be politically, in hip-hop, in pop culture, or on the internet. Animated shows doing parodies of movies and TV shows is great, and The Boondocks themselves have a lot of great film and television parodies, but The Boondocks is one of the first cartoons to do parodies of viral internet videos. They've done a lot, and today we're going to take a look at a few of the funniest parodies of viral videos that we saw in The Boondocks. So kick back, relax, and enjoy the video, and if you haven't already, subscribe to Toon Fridge. There's a lot more videos about The Boondocks on the way. Let's get into it. Latarian Milton was a seven-year-old boy who went viral in 2007 for going on a crime spree in his grandmother's SUV, then beating his grandmother over fried chicken. At the time, the video was hilarious because of, well, one, obviously it's just an outrageous story, and two, because the kid was interviewed by the news and it was full of ridiculously messed up but quotable lines, like, I wanted to do stuff for my friend. I yanked the, I yanked it. I yanked the, um, thing. Do it because it's fun. It's fun to do bad things. In season 3 of The Boondocks, we see a parody of Latarian Milton named LaMilton Tayshawn, who befriends Riley and peer pressures him into doing his troublesome activities with him. In the episode, Granddad and Huey try desperately to keep Riley away from LaMilton because... Fun to do bad things. Riley doesn't listen and ends up regretting it. When, after LaMilton goes too far and Riley cuts him off, LaMilton begins stalking Riley. Ends up being a parody of Halloween, with a psychiatrist warning everyone of how dangerous and sociopathic he believes LaMilton to be like Dr. Loomis did with Michael Myers, and ends with LaMilton walk chasing Riley to kill him in the same fashion as Michael Myers chases people. In 2006, in Louisville, Kentucky, an English teacher named Paul Dawson was suspended for using the N-word against a student. The news clip went viral because it stirred up a debate over the N-word, and also because the clip was honestly pretty funny. ER is a racial slur, but says that students use N-I-G-G-A as often as they'd Can say dude or hey man. And Dawson says as much as he does not like the word, he still used the slang version to feel more comfortable with black students. Why, why is this word used so frequently? So I just, I just don't understand it. And I just kind of was stunned a second. Well, well, well then get away from the door, nigga. And I was just, I repeated the same insult because that's sort of what I've been trained to do. The school district says that is not what they trained English teacher Paul Dawson to do. Nigger and nigga. The Boondocks was quick to parody this and they didn't disappoint. They copied the news clip almost word for word, but with the difference being Riley was the student that the teacher set the word to. It was somehow even funnier in animated form. Nigga borrow a french fry and my first thought wasn't Oh my God, he said the word, uh, the N word. It was now, how is a nigga gonna borrow a fry? Nigga, is you gonna give it back? From hugely due to the hysterical performance of the legendary Fred Willard playing the teacher, the news clip leads to Riley and Grandad celebrating because they plan to sue the school system for everything they have for emotional distress, which leads to a huge debate between them and Huey over whether or not it's morally correct to pretend to be distraught over this issue just to make money. Add everyone's favorite hustler preacher Rollo Goodlove to the mix, and you've got yourself one of the most hilariously ignorant yet thought-provoking episodes of the boondocks soldier boy is a rapper who exploded onto the scene with his 2007 viral dance hit crank that and while not known for his musical talent he is notoriously known and credited as the first rapper to really understand the internet and as the first rapper to really use social media and youtube to his advantage to become successful he's the first rapper with a youtube vlog the first rapper to blow up unsigned with a song on the internet and he's known for stirring up attention for himself with his online antics but as i said he's not the most talented artist and when his his rise to stardom began, a lot of rap legends were less than impressed and made it very clear publicly. One of those rappers was one of the GOATs, Ice-T, who made a video in 2008 telling Soulja Boy that he single-handedly killed hip-hop, saying his music was garbage. Soulja Boy replied very quickly, and Soulja Boy, who was 17 years old at the time, made a video repeatedly calling Ice-T old and washed up. Yeah. Ice-T old as <laughs> <laughs> Very. And apparently the Boondocks agreed, because in season 3 of the Boondocks, we see a parody of this classic viral moment. Thugnificent's career is on a downward spiral due to people not buying his music anymore. It's made clear that his time as a popular rapper is coming to an end. And during an interview with Vlad TV, Thugnificent goes off on a new rapper called Sergeant Gutta. And when Sergeant Gutta replies, it's a direct parody of the Soldier Boy response video, and again, it's really funny. 
The internet takes soldier, I mean Sergeant Gut aside, and it spells the end of Thugnificent's rap career as it marked the moment he was officially seen as old news to the young hip-hop fans. Even in the world of animation, Vlad TV stirring up drama. That's three viral videos that the Boondocks parodied, and honestly, I don't think any of them disappointed. The Boondocks also parodied everything from pop stars to movies, and there's new videos coming this week about those, so be sure to subscribe to Toon Fridge, because there's a lot more content on the way that we're excited to share with you guys. So stay tuned. Which one of these parodies was your favorite? Sound off in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys.